Hello everyone and welcome back to Sly Cooper 3 Honor Among Thieves Part 16. So we had to shoot the freaking wolf up the butt and then had to take the wolf around and eat the guards all over the place. But now it's time to do some windmill hacking. How do you plan to hack into the aircraft control tower? It's simple, really. The whole system is linked through computer nodes which monitor the power generated by the nearby windmills. Seriously? All the power around here comes from the local windmills? I thought they were just for looks. The control nodes tell a different story. How do you plan to get up there? It's pretty high. My turbo chair has been outfitted with an extra afterburner. Heights such as that are nothing to me. Which is what I had to do going by the hover pack, which is that. Prepare yourself, computer. I will show no mercy. Good thing I've got hacker code linked to the right analog stick. This data stream looks protected. Hmm, looks like I might need to transport the circular lockdown code. Finally, some challenge. Falls before my digital kung fu. All righty, Bentley. You need to calm, calm down with this kung fu business. Come, Grasshopper. Kneel before the feet of the Master. Looks like they're going to put up a little fight this time. And looks like it. Get these freaking turrets out of the way first. Ow. Hmm, a digital black hole. Gonna have to hack around it. Ow. Well, gotta restart. Looks like they're going to put up a little fight this time. right over and take some damage more damage another terminal terminated hey buddy we got a lot of loot you know your pockets not shining You enjoy this.
All right, now it's time to get to the next one. Don't worry, my pet. I'll make this quick and painless. Oh, Jesus Christ. Alright, so now that these turrets are going to be out of commission, I want to be able to grab these things and easily go away. Right, so... Whoop. Ow, 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 ow. Great. Just lovely. Great, okay, let's start again. Grab the pink first. Now, let's not screw this up again. There we go. No, 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 no. Let me get it. There we go. Excellent. Now for the aircraft control tower. Once it's hacked, the system will be mine. Okay, let's hit this button. Does it take us up? Yes, it does. your auxiliary afterburner to get over to that computer. Jump as far as you can towards it, then goose the afterburner. Go easy on the throttle, and you should get a few bursts. Aha! My final opponent! Looks like they saved the big code for last. How that be? Getting shot. Oh, joy. Don't die, don't die, don't die. And I died. And stick it in. Let's get it done. There we go. Success! I've got total access. Wait, the, the code's unstable. Everything's speeding up. Alrighty then. Windmill throwing stars, eh? This little system bug might come in handy. Oh, now we're gonna know what we have to do for the main heist.
Thanks to our combined efforts, we are now ready for the final round of the Aces dog fighting competition. Put on your helmets, because it's time for Operation Turbo Dominant Eagle. In just a few hours, Team Iceland and Team Belgium will begin fighting it out in the B Champs round. This will provide the perfect cover for step one of my plan. Sly, use the catapult and your paraglider to get access to the local gunships. Land some tracking devices, then head back to the team hangar and suit up for the finals. Murray, you're up next. Use your rowboat to pull down the aircraft communication antenna. With it out of commission, the Baron will have to use an unscrambled radio frequency to call in the gunship for backup. If that happens, I'll be ready with our secret weapon. And with the tracking devices installed, I'm guaranteed not to miss. In the end, though, it'll be up to slide. This is a sudden death competition. The first team to take out last year's champ wins. That's if the Black Baron doesn't take out all the competition first. Yeah, let's hope. Alright, so... Let's see, do I have enough coins to buy something? At 200, I can only buy something that's 200, and I don't have anything that's 200. Okay, so, looks like I'm going to have to... Start the heist. Oh, I just electrocute him. That's actually interesting to know. Oh, you have something nice in your pocket. Let me just take that. A uh, small nugget, 51 coins. that it set me down all the way over there. And then just grab the last little box for the last little bit of coins. All right, so let's start the heist. Excellent. The B-Champs dogfight is beginning. With these guys going at it, no one will notice as you slip onto the gunships and plant a tracking device. Sounds straightforward enough. Where'd you get these trackers? They look kind of funny. Best I could do on short notice. They're sensitive to extreme changes in altitude. You'll have to pull this job off at high elevation or it's a buzz. Shouldn't be a problem. Hopefully I can make it to this one. So I'm getting a little bit closer or that thing starts turning a little bit more. Okay, stop falling away. Stop going away. I'm not going to make it.
Wait for uh, Blimps to turn around. There we go. All done. Nice work, flyboy. The gunship's GPS data is flowing in. Head back to the hangar and suit up. All right, Murray. The Black Baron's communication antenna is held up by three support beams. Pull them out of place, and the whole array will fall apart. Don't worry. If there's one thing I'm good at, it's rowing and breaking stuff. Weird, my camera had to screw up there for, not, not camera, but microphone. Faster. Sly's turn to beat up the Baron. Well, this is it. I am the Tiger, pal. Look for the Black Baron. Take him out and this competition is all over. And go easy on the throttle. It's been sticking lately. Quit worrying. I'll see you in the winner's circle. And you're just going to fly right into that blimp, and oh, it's just going to be the humanity. find the Black Baron. Guessing by the term Black Baron, he's going to be flying in a black ship, and he's also lit up, too, it looks like. I'm going to assume this is the Black Baron. Yep. Oh, 
Well, you got told. Come on, fix. High time for an upgrade, I say. Oh, no, you don't, you weasel. Weasel? Am I? I beat you. Your biplane is in pieces. But <laughs> we're both still airborne, aren't we? The victor has yet to be decided. Then, let's settle it. Beware, my boy. I've trained ten years at Fisticus. Feudalism is my passion. If you fight as well as you fly, this shouldn't take long. On guard! Just trying to knock me off this wing, huh? Fired for setting your boss on fire. It was quite a revelation. Penelope and the Black Baron were one and the same. But before we could even process this turn of events, we were rushed to the winner's circle. Somehow, against all odds, we become this year's champions. There was a bit of an awkward moment between Bentley and Penelope. I guess the photos they'd sent each other over the internet were a bit exaggerated. That night, Penelope explained that the disguise was invented to get her past the dogfighting league's strict age requirements. However, after winning, the Baron became a celebrity and she found herself putting on the costume more and more often. But now, with the Black Baron out of the picture, she was free to take up a new path, and she joined the gang without hesitation. The next day, our newest recruit treated us to a week-long... Bentley, why are you um, just sulking like, like that? She was fitting in just fine. Well, 
finishing up that heist. I think that should wrap it up for this episode. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.